All right, so here is an Ubuntu 20.04 device running Focal Foja. Um, it's plugged into a dock right here. Uh, this is, a, I should mention, this is a Pixel 3a XL. I've got a keyboard and a mouse and a monitor, which is currently running the OS. And I just want to see if it is usable. So for starters, uh, the terminal is functional. Um, the windows are draggable. Multitasking is perfectly functional. You can see I have the UV ports forum up here. All this good stuff. Um, you can see the buttons on the side. If I close, it'll close the app. All my apps are available in the app drawer. I can get more apps via the open store or the, through the terminal. Um, you can see this is the Lemiri or Ubuntu Touch Tweak Tool. Uh, just put my password in. There we go. And um, I'm currently holding an Ubuntu Touch device to film this. There's no, I don't think there's an ARM package of OBS. And it wouldn't matter anyways. The 2004 doesn't support Libertine yet. But, um, yeah, if you can see right here, here's a piece of software, and I can just hit upgrade, and it'll just kind of install, and uh, <laughs> I don't even like, I can go to morph, and like if I go to anthology, here's my channel. Here we go. HD playback. Just fine. And the sound is coming out of this phone speakers. So if I take my headphones and I plug them into the phone audio jack, I wonder. Phone down for a second, guys. Ignore this. Know where it is. All right, it's plugged in, and sure enough, hard to really demonstrate, but it's it's coming through these headphones just fine. And it's sure it's not the fastest thing because you know this is a Pixel three, three A XL, but like imagine, imagine this running on like. Imagine this running on a Mac M one, through Asahi using using a patch from the Asahi project, or imagine this on a Pinebook Pro. <laughs> or with one of the newer, more more powerful devices like the Pixel three A. That phone is from 2018, 2019, um, and it's, it is not the new generation of, of stronger processors. Like this Moto, um, this Moto Action, uh, Moto One Action is way, way stronger than this device. It just happens to not have uh, an Ubuntu Touch port right now. But like, there are there are more powerful ports out right now. Um, a port which would be probably better, which would be, you know, like the JinkPad, or <clears throat> well, not that you'd use the JinkPad for this, but or like a full convergence device, like uh, the the Fairphone Four, would probably be a, a better, or one of the Galaxy phones. Like, <sighs> there's so much potential here. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, it's hard to like demonstrate how well this works with just one hand and it's a little, a little the only sad part about the current state of 20.04 is that um is is that uh, libertine doesn't work yet 
So I think as soon as Libertine works, this will be like the perfect Linux distro for everyday use. And, um, you know, alongside Libertine, I, I'd say, you know, getting Wadroid working again. Like my 1604, if I plugged my 1604 into this dock, I'd have Libertine and Wadroid. I should probably do that, but I wanted to try out the 2004 device um, just to see if it can do wireless display casting. I think it can, it can. So, um, yeah, I know this is super exciting. <laughs> Lumpology out. Oh, I want to thank my um, currently current own only channel member, um, Mike Craven. Thank you. And uh, if any of you like my kind of content, feel free to uh, feel free to like and uh, subscribe and or hit the join button because <laughs> apparently that's a thing now. <laughs> thank you for one. Thank you for for 3.6k. And uh, I'll be back soon.